Have you ever wondered about the roots of Neolithic cultures in the Balkans? Where did these early societies spring from, and how did they develop over time? Today, we'll take a deep dive into this fascinating period of history, tracing the progression of these cultures from their earliest incarnations to their more recent iterations. Our journey begins with the Anza Begovo, Chavdar, Konevo, Chris, Dudesti Cernica, Karanovo, Koros, Kremakovci, Ovcharovo, Poradin, Starsevo, and Sonevo cultures, commonly known under the umbrella term of Starsevo culture. These cultures represent the migration of early Neolithic farmers from Anatolia to Southeast Europe, establishing roots in present-day regions such as Serbia, Bulgaria, Macedonia, Montenegro, Bosnia, Northern Croatia, Southwest Hungary, and Romania. These early farmers laid the groundwork for the cultures that would follow, including the Alfold Linear Pottery, the LBK culture, and the Kukuteni Tripillion culture, which would stretch from northern France to western Ukraine. Their agricultural economy was primarily based on the cultivation of crops from the Fertile Crescent, such as emmer wheat, einkorn wheat, barley, spelt millet, pulses, and buckwheat. Fruits like plums and apricots also found their place in these early orchards. Livestock breeding, particularly of goats and sheep, supplemented their plant-based diet, as did fishing and hunting. These Starcevo farmers resided in rectangular dwellings, dug out with a timber frame and featuring wattle and daub walls and clay plastered floors. These homes were modest in size, with most measuring between 7 and 10 meters in length and 4 and 6 meters in width. Single-roomed and single-storied, some of these structures may have featured a loft on the second floor, likely used as a granary. Starcevo pottery varied between regional groups, with some painted in white on red and dark on red, while others remained unpainted. These ceramic vessels were typically decorated with net patterns, spirals, garlands, floral motives, ridges, and finger imprints. Representations of goats and deer were common. Tools were primarily made of stone, bones, or antlers. Flint, obsidian, and quartz were used to craft blades, cutters, scrapers, and drills. Axes, hatchets, and grinding stones were made of sandstone, limestone, granite, quartz, and other rocks. Few graves have been discovered within the Starcevo culture, and those that have been found are typically single graves, primarily of women or children. Burial practices included inhumation under the floors of personal residences, a tradition that continued until 4000 BCE. Grave goods were rare, but when present, they included pottery, grinding stones, flint tools, or jewelry. DNA sequencing of ancient samples from these early Neolithic cultures has confirmed that the Neolithic lifestyle was brought to Europe by Anatolian farmers. For the first 1,700 years of agriculture in the Balkans, these Near Eastern farmers had limited interaction with Mesolithic European hunter-gatherers in the region. It is likely that any assimilations took place in northwest Anatolia, where European hunter-gatherers had migrated. In summary, the Neolithic cultures of the Balkans from the Starcevo to the Kukuteni Tripillion represent the evolution and adaptation of early farming societies. From their beginnings in Anatolia, these cultures spread across Southeast Europe, shaping the future of the continent with their agricultural practices, architectural styles, and burial customs. This journey through time offers a fascinating glimpse into our ancient past, shedding light on the origins of agriculture, early craftsmanship and societal structures.